All right, everybody, Sylvia here, and it's another very windy day here in the Palm Springs area. It seems to be the windy season, and I have decided to do a video in my trailer, sheltered from the wind. And today I want to talk about some of the considerations for buying a trike, particularly if you're coming from an upright or a two-wheel recumbent, and answer the question, are trikes safe? Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, everybody, so I'm in my trailer and I'm wanting to do a video today about switching from an upright or a two-wheel recumbent to a trike. And I really want to address people that are already cyclists who are thinking about switching to a trike. When people are thinking of going from an upright or a two-wheel recumbent, one of the biggest concerns is the width of the trike. And the trikes do require more room on the road. But it's kind of a misnomer. And I can tell you that whenever I'm riding behind upright bikes or two-wheel recumbents, I am always, without fail, more to the right and further from traffic than they are. And there are a couple of good reasons for this. One, the debris in the road with the rain and traffic, it always gets pushed to the edge of the road. And two wheel riders uh, need to be concerned. Of course, nobody wants to get a flat, but on a two wheel bike, you know, you are concerned about losing control when you get a flat. And with the trikes, uh, getting a flat just isn't a big deal. You are never going to lose control over your trike when you get a flat. And this is true whether you get a front wheel flat or a rear wheel flat. I have had rear wheel flats at 40 miles an hour and it's just a flat. You pull over and you fix it. The other really big hazard for road riding is that edge of the road where the asphalt turns into dirt, gravel, grass, and it is a treacherous, treacherous uh, thing for a two-wheel rider. And on the trike, um, it just doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. If you need to put your right wheel into the dirt, gravel, or grass, its it just doesn't matter. Um, you might be a little bit slower because there's more friction, um, but it's not going to make any difference to how you ride. And then when you want to make that transition from unpaved back onto pavement, you don't need to worry about that wheel getting caught on the lip of the road. And that lip of the road is treacherous for a two-wheel biker. If you get your wheels caught as a two-wheel biker on that little lip of the road, it can be devastating. It can throw you off your bike. Um, you know, I had a friend who, she didn't get caught on the lip of the road. She got, actually got caught in a crack in the asphalt and it threw her from her bike and she ended up needing facial reconstructive surgery. This is something that will never happen on a trike. Um, you're never going to get caught on anything in the road. Um, and this also goes for riding in gravel. You're never going to slip out on wet paint or wet leaves. And so for that those reasons, the trike is very, very safe. Another aspect of riding a trike, especially the tadpole trikes, is you're just inches from the ground. And so it's very difficult to tip a trike. Um, it can be done. It, you know, takes very specific circumstances, usually at extremely slow speeds, making a turn and somehow that weight distribution gets off. But you're so close to the ground, chances of getting hurt are very, very slim. Now, when you're riding in traffic, um, there are some very interesting interactions. Trucks, particularly the pickup trucks, love to tell bikers what they feel about bikers being on the road. You know, they're always rolling down their window, yelling at bikers to get off the road. Um, for the 
recumbents and the trikers it's like ah get a real bike uh, there seems to be some weird thought that if you're riding a bike you don't pay taxes and so they're constantly telling you how they pay taxes and you're not supposed to be on the road um, and trucks will also sometimes spew black smoke out of their pale tailpipe to just let you know how they feel and here again because the trikes are so low to the ground the trucks have to time this perfectly otherwise the smoke leaves the tailpipe and it just goes right over you and when this happens i never say anything i know they're looking out their rear view mirror to see my reaction and i give them nothing i act as if i didn't even see them and then with car traffic, um, there's a very, it's a whole nother set of kind of psychological issues that go on with cars. And I know that I am very visible. I have flags, lights, a bright helmet. Um, when I'm touring, I've got really bright panniers. And it's not uncommon for a car to slow down, roll down their window and yell, I can't see you. And I always, you know, okay. And, you know, they usually go on. But if they want to hang around and talk about it, you know, I'll turn to them and I'll say, you know, if, if you can't see me, who are you yelling at? I mean, seriously. But more than likely, what's going to happen is cars are going to give you a very wide berth. And it took me a long time to understand what was going on. Um, but the car drivers for sure they can see you but what they want to see is they want to see your face and in order to see your face as they pass they have to go way around you in the lane of opposing traffic um, so that they can turn and see you through the passenger door window and so you know it's Again, another reason why trikes are just really safe. So I have never had a close call on my trike in all the years that I've been riding and on my two wheel upright and my two wheel recumbent, you know, cars often got closer than I wanted them to. There's one aspect of riding a trike which is a little bit uncomfortable and People will often think that you are disabled, that you have a handicap of some sort. Uh, when I first started trike riding, um, you know, it took me a while to understand this and I did not like it at all. I know a lot of people do buy trikes because they have some kind of a, maybe a back issue, balance issues. Um, but I did not buy a trike for any kind of disability. I bought a trike because I wanted to go touring and I do not have the strength to ride a two-wheel bike up and over the hills without walking. And to go touring and walking up all the hills with a loaded bike just didn't seem like fun. And so that is why I bought a trike. The first trike I bought was a Green Speed GTO. And one of its marketing features was that it has 81 gears. It had three chain rings in the front, nine cogs in the back and it had a three speed internally geared SRAM hub in the rear wheel and you know you multiply all that together and you get 81 gears and there's an awful lot of overlap um, the SRAM hub although it says it has three gears the middle gear really is neutral and so you have high and low um, but I think I calculated that it even still it had over 50 independent gears to choose from and in all the time that I've been riding a trike, I have never found a hill I cannot climb. I have taken my trike on the hills of Appalachia, in the Rockies. I have ridden in the Alps of New Zealand, um, down the Pacific coast, which has 100,000 feet of climbing. My last tour, was, which was in Colombia, I was riding 11, 12,000 feet and so um, with that trike and with my current trike I have never found a hill I cannot climb but also because people 
I just automatically assume that you have a disability, um, it comes with some benefits. Uh, for instance, I have come up to intersections where, you know, the traffic, like in Vietnam, I mean, it's just chaos. And I'm thinking, I have no idea how I'm going to get through this intersection. And as I roll up, everybody stops. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, this, you know, older, gringa, disabled woman, you know, and they just stop and I can just easily get through. You have to be ready for a lot of attention with a trike. I think with recumbents in general, but with the trike it's even more. And when I'm touring, um, particularly out of the country, it is constant. All day long, people are honking, they're yelling, thumbs up, you know, they want to know what you're doing. And there's something about the trike that makes people laugh. It makes people smile. They want to know more about it. Um, you know, on my last tour in Colombia, I was there for six months and I would guess my picture was taken 10,000 times. It's all day, all day long. People are stopping to take my picture. They're stopping to get out of their car or off their scooter and to get a picture with me. Um, in fact, I would say that um, it's such a big part of my touring that I find I can tour for a couple of days and then I need to get to a hotel, put the trike away and take a break um, and just walk around like a normal gringa tourist without all that attention. If cycling is a big part of your life and you are maybe part of a bike club and going out on group rides is a big part of your social life, I will tell you that the rhythm between riding a to a bike and going to a trike is very, very different. You're going to be much, much faster going downhill. You're probably going to be able to keep up on the flats and then going uphill, you're going to be a lot slower. And so the dynamics between everybody and how you used to ride is going to be different. Uh, one way to combat that is to add electric assist to your trike. And that is the great equalizer. I have found by adding electric assist to my trike, I can ride with anybody. Um, it doesn't matter how slow or how fast um, I am able to keep up. So, you know, something else to consider. If you're thinking strongly about going to a trike, my biggest advice is to try as many as possible. Every single trike, even though they may look similar, it's going to ride differently. And as you try out different trikes, the trike that works for you is going to, it's going to speak to you. Um, I really would caution you against um, setting a budget cap and saying, oh, this is, you know, the most that I'm going to spend. Um, and having that keep you from trying different trikes. If you see trikes that are, you know, maybe out of your budget, you know, try it anyway, because, you know, you can have that as a reference point and you may try a trike, maybe a cat trike, and it's going to be half the price. And you're going to say, wow, look at that. I found the trike that works for me and it's half the price of an Aesop or an HP Velotechnic. Um, so yeah, so get out there and try as many as possible so are trikes safe yes I would say that trikes are very very safe and much safer than riding a two-wheel bike is a trike right for you this is a question really no one can answer for you you just need to go try a bunch of trikes and figure that out for yourself um, I think I've answered a lot of the questions I'm sure there are questions I have forgotten um, please leave a comment in the comment section below I love hearing from everybody I try to answer all the comments that people leave so if you have a question please leave it there if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe it helps out the channel a ton thank you for following along i hope you remain safe and healthy and as always thank you for watching